Bye, Chanel. Bye, Chanel. Bye, Lola. Lola, where'd you go? Bye, Lola. We're going to go to Ohio. We'll see you later. What is going on, guys? We are on our way to Ohio. The Summit of Greatness. Summit of Greatness, Ohio, Lewis House. Super excited. Got Kelly going with us. Hey. Ralph <laughs> and we got George we're all gonna go there taking a road trip there um, on the way up I want to I've actually fasted today. I haven't had anything yet to eat so what I want to do is I want to show you guys through this video um, you know how I eat on the road how I travel on the road when I travel on the road what I eat um, and how I stay lean while traveling so you're gonna find this video super informative because I'm going to show a lot of my fitness pal stuff and how I log it in and how I stay clean so take you through it in the next clip First stop, first stop we got, we stopped at Waba of course, got roasted, salted, and salted almonds for a high fat, we got some Crave beef jerky, sweet chipotle, pretty good right there, and crush this as we drive, got our proteins, power crunch bar, moderate fat, about 13 grams for a bar, and then of course, Got a little bit of a sweet tooth, so you gotta get that in there. All right, guys, so I wanted to take you through a quick little tour of how I utilize my fitness pal and why it's so effective. Um, and this is really the tool I utilize for daily, every day, or every day, yeah, to track my calories, and it's worked like magic for me. So, really quick, first, as you can see in the previous clip, I had all those snacks and I'm logging them in in this clip. So, Right here, this is the beef jerky. So simply, guys, you can search foods on the app, MyFitnessPal. It's a free app in the App Store. And literally, you can look up the foods and log it in. So my calorie goal for that day was 3180. So I wanted to eat 3,180 calories for the day. That was my max. So as you can see, I'm just logging in the foods previously um, from the previous clip. Just going away, hacking away at it getting all those foods in there and yeah i mean it's just it's so simple you can even scan barcodes too guys so all right so meal number two getting super flexible now chick-fil-a show them what we got kel fries waffle fry <laughs> grilled chicken nuggets Always get the grilled. And then a grilled chicken sandwich. This was a number seven. This is the club. And the number six was the nuggets. So in all, I will show you in the next clip what the macros will be of this on my fitness pal. So in all of this Chick-fil-A trifecta meal wasn't too high in calories. It was 300 for the grilled chicken sandwich, about 310 for the fries, and about one. 60 for the grilled chicken nuggets. Pretty good right there. That's beautiful. So we're going into our room. It's a lot nicer than we expected. So here we go. That's fine. Something. Here we go. Oh. Yeah. That. Oh man, so turns out we thought we originally had a single bedroom um, and I ended up having to buy a, another bed or another hotel room for my buddy that came with his friend as well and it turns out we had a double um, and they're at a totally different hotel because this was sold out but this is absolutely amazing. Gotta say that the double tree does it right. Where's the cookie? Let's show them the cookie. We ate it. We ate the cookie, but they give you this cookie that's just unbelievably good when you check into your room. Awesome stuff. Great reciprocity right there. There's the cookie. And the best part is it has the macros on the back. 310 calories, 18 grams of fat, 33 grams of carbs, and 5 grams of protein. There we go. Great branding, Doubletree, thank you. 
Can't forget that damn cookie. Damn cookie from Double Tree was awesome. So it was 310 calories, guys. Log that in. Great reciprocity, like I said. After that, Kelly and I went to this awesome Mexican joint down the street in Columbus, Ohio. So we went to this awesome me Mexican joint, and they had. It's pretty cool. You can make your own tacos, and it was really interesting because you get a free taco when you have over a thousand subscribers or uh, followers on Instagram. So I was able to meet that standard and get a free taco. So I was pretty excited about that. Um, and you know, it was, I, what did I get? I got shrimp tacos with a ton of stuff um, in terms of like healthy. Uh, I got coleslaw or not coleslaw? What was it? Um, what was it cabbage? Cabbage is great on it, and then. We got mojitos, got chips, and here's the final product right here. It's absolutely amazing. You're gonna love this next clip of the tacos. So we got another round. Ooh. Does YouTube count? What? I said, does YouTube count? <laughs> so unfortunately, guys, that restaurant did not have a menu where you could log in their items because they weren't more of a franchise or more of an individually owned restaurant. Totally fine though. I was able to add in generic things. So I looked up generic tacos, tried to build it my own way and uh, added the chips in. <laughs> I did as best I could. Um, just really estimated, you know, what the calories were based off my knowledge. So um, in all, I mean, I was pretty high in calories this day. I'm not going to lie. I went really, I ended up going over 3,100. I was like 30 in the next couple. I think it's like 30, what, 37? Yeah, almost 3,800 um, for the day. And my macros were a little bit over the place. Um, my carbs ended up being relatively high. They were like in the 300 range. And then also my fat was about 150. So when I do like a keto day in the past, my fat hasn't, or fat sees around that much, but my carbs are a lot lower. So it is what it is. One, you know, I was on vacation, so it's all good. All right, guys, so current condition right now after eating very flexibly on this trip, feeling pretty good, gonna work out again with Corey Gregory tomorrow at his gym at Old School Gym. Pretty hyped up for that. It's gonna be a good workout. I'm actually gonna be working out with Mark Fit hopefully tomorrow too. So that, Mark Fit actually is, when I first started this YouTube channel, Mark Fit was one of the biggest reasons, or actually one of the biggest reasons, yes, why I started this channel. You know, he really inspired me into action. Um, him and Christian Guzman inspired me into action to start this channel. Um, but, gonna get the opportunity to work out with him tomorrow, and also Tony McAllister one of his best friends, and they started the company Rise. I'm big with their, it's like a weightlifting um, equipment company. So I'm gonna be actually working out two CEOs of that company, so I'm really hyped for that. But I wanna keep talking, I'm gonna take you to the next clip. In about a couple hours, we'll be getting up at 3 a.m. and working out with them again, or working out again at Old School Gym with Corey Gregory and all those guys. So we'll take you to that next. All right, we are at Old School Gym in Columbus, Ohio right now. It is, what time is it? 4 a.m. 3.50 a.m. Yeah, just got uh, back actually from the taco place last, last night. Actually, when I say last night, an hour and a half ago. Um, so, pretty hyped up to do this. Alright guys, so I want to take you a little bit through the workout, what we did. Um, so first we did overhead presses. I didn't end up turning the camera on for that one, but I did get this. So this was front raises for 20 reps. As you can see to the right of me, that big ass dude to the right, that was Steve Weatherford. He used to be the punter for the New York Giants, um, the NFL team. So I thought that was pretty cool. We were working out with him, really down earth guy, really nice guy. Um, so I was doing front raises with dumbbells. I think this was like with 20 pounds or so. Um, and it was 20 reps total on uh, each side. Sorry, so 40 reps total. Absolutely burnt my shoulders right there. Um, really high volume shoulder workout this day. So then it was actually next. It was supersetted with lateral delt raises. Again, same weight. Um, but this is 20 reps. So 20 reps total for this one. And man, I, I got to say like the front delt or the front first exercise really burns out the front delts and that second exercise really gets your you know lateral deltoids um, so this was the finisher this was actually a trifecta 
rear delt fly for 10, lateral delt fly for 10 on the incline bench, and then f you'll see in the next clip, 10 front punches. Um, so it was 10, 10, 10, absolutely great way to really 3D those shoulders, really get that 3D delt look um, and build up those shoulders. I think it was a really effective method uh, for really just, as you can see, I love this move, the, the, the 10 punch, so awesome, so. All right, guys, so we just finished up the workout at Corey's gym. As you can see right there, um, amazing workout. Shoulders hardly lift the phone right now. My shoulders are absolutely dead, but we're going over to the Summit of Greatness now, Lewis Howes Summit. Super excited for it. Andrew had a good workout with us. Yeah, we did. Woo! Crushed some shoulders. Yeah. Where's George at? George had a good time. George. George is having fun over there. He's talking to Steve Weatherford. There he is. There he is. So. So this was a good old lunch break for the School of Greatness Summit. The Summit of Greatness. Actually, it's that's how it's supposed to be phrased, but the Summit of Greatness, Lewis Howes event. I love Lewis Howes. Um, so anyway, we ended up having, um, I ended up having this chicken avocado burger, I want to say. Um, it had a nice, everyone got salad, so I had to get a salad on the side. Had to be, you know, had to have my veggies. Um, but very healthy restaurant we went to. I can't remember the name. It was like white and well, actually, honestly, I don't remember the name as of now. Um, but next, I get that coffee. Count. Headed to North Market Street. Kelly, you are looking pretty. We're in the Uber. I'm vlogging this for YouTube. <laughs> What's your name? Habdeep. Habdeep? Habdeep. Pad, pad, how, do you, how do you pronounce that? Uh, Padid. Padid? Yeah. So, Padid, say hi to YouTube. <laughs> Austin here. We are, what is it? What's we're going to? North Market? So this is like a Liberty Marketplace. Can't wait to see what food we get. Ooh, we got the sushi. Salmon, spicy tuna. All designed in beautiful fashion. In this beautiful Ohio restaurant. We got my beautiful girlfriend, Kelly. With my servant is bringing me my food. We got the room service. We got a salad. I got a salmon sandwich, salmon big or salmon avocado, and Kel got mac and cheese. <laughs> so I seriously swear this whole vlog is about us eating like 95% of the time. Um, but no, this was the after party at Lewis's event. That last little clip you saw the bowl. It looked like kind of like a you know a Chipotle burrito bowl. It was actually. Uh, it wasn't from Chipotle, but it was like a makeshift, or not a makeshift, but a, a place that replicated like Chipotle. It was really good. Same thing, got a chicken bowl like I normally do at Chipotle. Um, and then I was still hungry, so I went and went over to the food trucks down on the other side of the event and got myself some Thai food right there. Um, so it was like a chicken noodle type of thing. It was absolutely amazing, like always. Um, Honestly, my calories were like 4,000 this day. It was so bad, but I enjoyed every little bit of it. You know, you got to live, you got to enjoy life and have fun while you, you know, live this lifestyle. After party at Lewis's event, here we go.
guys, we just stopped at Starbucks. It is 7.28, coming back. Coming back from the world, or the summit of greatness. Got a ham, Swiss, and cheese. Got ourselves a red eye. Really. And then I'm going to let George try the Justin's. Justin's. We got an organic. Organic Reese's. There's the macros right there. Yeah, down the hatch. How are we feeling, guys? Feeling good. A little tired, but. A little tired, good. but we're going to make it back. Right, Kim? And this is going to wrap it up, guys. We were driving back the next morning. We ended up leaving at 4 a.m. It was a little bit bad weather, but we got back. Very safe and sound. And. This was one of the last things I ate on the way home, a Quest Bar and quinoa salad from Wawa. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video of us eating about 95% of the time of the trip. And stay tuned for more.